Welcome back everyone. Today I'm doing a review of Valraven at Cedar Point, the gigantic B&M dive coaster. Valraven is one of Cedar Point's newest additions, opening in the 2016 season, and it is truly a sight to behold. You walk into the park, go past Raptor, and you come up on this gigantic diving machine, and it is absolutely beautiful to look at. Like I said, it's huge, standing at a height of 223 feet. It definitely helps to dominate the Cedar Point sky line along with many of the other ginormous coasters that they feature. It has a 214 foot drop and it reaches speeds of 75 miles per hour. It has a track length of 3,415 feet. So when Valraven opened it was the tallest, fastest, and longest dive coaster in the world and also featured the most inversions. Truly a marvel of engineering and an absolutely phenomenal ride to watch from the midway and being able to walk under it and everything, it's, it's great and it really gets you pumped and it's really intimidating, especially for a general public who this ride is really popular with. This is an absolute people eater too, so has a great capacity, awesome operations to go along with it. This ride is great for spitting out a lot of people in a very fast time. So what do I think of Valraven? Well, going into Valraven and riding it for the first time recently, I had pretty low expectations. This is the first dive coaster I've ridden, so far the only one I've ridden. And I had heard from many, many people that Valraven is one of the worst, if not the worst dive coaster out there, despite its huge stature. So on my first ride, I actually did get to sit in the front row, which I was happy about, so I could really get that true diving experience. Being in the front, that's the best seat to experience that diving sensation. This is a really intimidating ride, and I, I, I'm pretty nervous getting on this thing, to be completely honest. It's just so intimidating. You know, it has the really steep lift hill, and you're just looking at the sky as you're climbing up there. Then you get 224 feet in the air and you're just hanging over that drop. Of course, this is what dive coasters are all about is the vertical diving drops and the, you know, that holding break and being held over the edge. That is definitely a very breathtaking moment, you know, just being held over the edge there in anticipation. From the top of the lift hill, you get an awesome view of Cedar Point, just like you do on many of their coasters, but Valraven especially has a beautiful view of that side of the park and Lake Erie. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Getting into my experience on Valraven. Ah. I was so disappointed. I went into this ride with pretty low expectations and I was expecting, you know, that I would probably have at least a decent amount of fun on it and I thought it would be a really good ride. I I was really overwhelmed. Um, and since that first ride, I've gotten another one and the, the second ride I got was much better. It's a pretty fun ride, I gotta say. It's at least fun, but I just find Val Raven to be so lacking. And I found Val Raven, surprisingly enough, to be absolutely forceless. And I was just, I was so disappointed because looking at it, it's this huge menacing ride. It has that holding brake. Just everything about it is so scaled up. It has the huge 165 foot tall Emmelman that you walk right under when you're going down the main midway. And it looks great. It's a great ride to look at. Unfortunately, I'm just not a big fan of Val Raven. Hopefully in the next year or two, I get to ride Griffin, which a lot of people say is the best dive coaster in the United States. I don't know, just, I gotta say, I was surprised the second ride I got on this, I got the tiniest, tiniest bit of really weak floater airtime on that last airtime hill. The first ride, I didn't get any at all. And actually on the second ride as well, I did get a little bit of airtime on the first drop, which I also did not get on the first ride. So my second experience on this was definitely an improvement over the first time, but the ride layout itself, there really isn't a whole lot to it. Somewhat of a basic dive coaster layout. It has the 90 degree drop, the Emmelman, and then you just turn right up into the mid-course brake run. Then you go down another near vertical drop. Then you hit the dive loop. Then you go through the zero G roll, which I actually find to be the best part of the ride. You get some awesome hang time there and it's, it's great. Then you go up into an airtime hill, which doesn't really give any airtime. And then you slide up to the left and into the brakes. So that's Valraven, very basic layout. Very huge ride, beautiful to look at. 
very disappointing ride experience. It is very smooth, not rough whatsoever. Um, I love the logo and some of the theming they have, you know, in the queue and right around the plaza where this sits at. Everything around it looks great. The coaster is absolutely gorgeous and the lights on it at night, really incredible to look at. Unfortunately, the ride experience does not live up to that whatsoever in my opinion. So what would I rate Valraven? Valraven is decent. It's at least somewhat fun. I'll give Valraven a 6 out of 10. Decent enough. Fun ride. Smooth. Maybe you'll get a tiny bit of airtime if you're lucky. Thank you guys for watching. I try not to be so negative all the time. I'm actually a very positive person, but um, hopefully this didn't come across as a too negative, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to let me know what you think about Valraven. I mean, maybe you guys like it a lot more than me, and that's great. We all have different opinions, so I would love to hear it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.